Hey, it's Elise Pickett with The Urban Harvest, and we are in my front yard garden, and today I am going to share with you the best heirloom tomatoes to grow in your organic Florida vegetable garden. Growing tomatoes in Florida is not as difficult as it may seem. Um, I do have an entire playlist on the channel that covers everything on growing tomato tips from how to start tomatoes from seed, how to plant them properly into your garden and all of that. So make sure to click the link if you want to check out any of those videos. But today we are going to be talking about what heirloom tomatoes to grow in the Florida climates. Before we get started, I wanted to talk to you about the two types of tomatoes that you can grow. And those are indeterminate and determinate. Indeterminate tomatoes means it's producing a small quantity of tomatoes over the season, as opposed to determinate, which means it's tons of tomatoes all at once. Those are great for sauces and canning, but with our fluctuating heat and temperatures and rain and weather, it's much better to plant indeterminate tomato varieties just in case anything cracks or splits. Or um, It's actually quite handy too for if you're having any pest issues like squirrels or anything like that. It kind of takes care of losing all of your crop at once. The quintessential tomato for Florida uh, if you've been in the gardening circles long enough, is the Everglades tomato. Um, they are absolutely insane. Um, one, they can tolerate our mostly sandy soils, so with a little bit of amendment, you can actually plant these guys in the ground, um, which no other tomato varieties will even consider doing. Um, they go straight through our hot, humid summers, um, and they will actually reseed themselves, so they're not technically perennial, um, but once established, um, some of the tomatoes will drop and they will reseed themselves and regrow themselves without any extra effort from you, which uh, is definitely noteworthy in the tomato arena. The one downside is that the tomatoes are quite small. Um, so as you can see here, um, the tomatoes don't get much bigger than maybe a thumbnail. They're great to toss in salads and for something that basically takes very little care from you, you can't ask for much more. So here is one of my favorites. This is Umberto and it is a pink tomato. So it's not that deep red color, but it's nice sized fruit and it is absolutely prolific. Uh, you could get two to 300 tomatoes per plant over the course of the season. Ildi is a yellow pear tomato. And if you're not familiar with yellow tomatoes, they have uh, less acid in them, so they have a much sweeter taste than your standard tomato. My daughter agrees, she goes bonkers over these tomatoes. As soon as she sees them turn yellow, she's picking them off the vine and eating them straight out of the garden. Anyhow, these guys are about one to two ounce yellow pear tomatoes, and they do absolutely wonderful in our climates and just keep on producing for months and months on end. This tomato plant has been already producing for about two months and it is still growing strong. This next one is indigo apple, and it is one of my personal favorites. I'm not a huge tomato fan, but I really love the taste of purple tomatoes. And purple tomatoes are really high in anti-cancer and antioxidant properties, and they have a much earthier and meatier flavor than your standard red tomatoes. Uh, this one is also the number one highest um, or largest quantity of both lycopene and vitamin C out of any tomatoes. So this one is super healthy for you. 
and it's absolutely gorgeous. One of my absolute favorite varieties to grow is the bumblebee cherry tomato. Uh, they're so fun and pretty to throw in salads. They don't just come in purple, although that is my personal favorite to uh, variety to grow just because I like the purple tomatoes, but they have um, green ones with darker green stripes. They have red ones with yellow stripes. They're just super fun colors to play with and mix up in the garden. But they also are great tomatoes to grow here in Florida because they are crack resistant. They don't mind fluctuations in temperature and they can tolerate a wide range of temperatures, which is really nice for our winter when one day it can be in the 50s and the next day it could be in the 80s. This is a wonderful indeterminate tomato variety to grow here in Florida. Another top pick for growing tomatoes at home here in Florida is the home fence variety. And what sets this one apart from most other tomato varieties is that it will actually set fruit in higher temperatures. I have a separate video that discusses why that's a potential issue. So go ahead and follow that link if you're interested. It is your standard medium red slicing tomato. So they're like eight to nine ounces. Think of those quote unquote vine ripe tomatoes that you would purchase at the store. These are the guys to grow at home. Tropic heirloom tomato is a great variety to grow if you've been having issues with different diseases in the soil or in your garden. It uh, shows a ton of disease resistance uh, and it also does really, really well in our hot, humid climates. So if you've been struggling a bit with growing your tomatoes, this would be a great option to try out for your garden. This variety is indeterminate and it is a medium red slicing tomato. So it's a great multi-purpose. You can slice it and do it for salads or you can make paste or can it in salsas. Uh, very, very multi-use and nice flavor. I don't tend to grow beefsteak tomatoes in my own front yard garden or my own home garden. But for those of you who do enjoy a nice large beefsteak tomato, two varieties that I highly recommend would be Brandywine. It is an absolute classic tomato, um, very, very uh, sun scald tolerant and heat tolerant. So that's a great one to grow here in Florida. The other one is Gallego de Summer. And that is a yellow beefsteak tomato, which as I mentioned before, makes it much sweeter and it's just a beautifully vibrant yellow color, which is so pretty to slice up and make for sushi or on a nice hamburger. I hope you found this video helpful and a good starting point for the best heirloom tomatoes to grow in your organic Florida vegetable garden. I do have a seed club if you're interested in learning about more varieties of vegetables that grow well here in Florida. So if you'd like more information or would like to join the club, just go ahead and click below and it will take you to the site. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and the subscribe button while you're down there so you're alerted every time a new video comes out on Florida-based vegetable gardening. Happy gardening!